Hey, football enthusiasts, welcome back to Touchdown. It's that time of the offseason when the NFL world is buzzing with roster moves and unexpected twists. Today, we've got the latest from the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's dive in. Hello, and welcome back, my friends. Do not forget to subscribe, as our goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers and hit the thumbs up. In a series of surprising developments, the Chiefs are making headlines. Down Andy Reid's insights into retaining key players. From releasing a veteran wide receiver to placing the franchise tag on a star defensive back and even a superfan facing legal troubles, there's a lot to unpack. Stick around as we break down each piece of this Chiefs puzzle. Andy Reid on retaining both Algeria Sneed and Chris Jones on Chiefs. Coach Reid acknowledges the importance of Jones and Sneed and expresses the team's desire to keep them. However, he also emphasizes the reality of tough decisions in the NFL. The Chiefs will give it their best shot, aiming for a deal that suits both parties. Reid highlights the need to be smart with the restrictions in place and ensure the team's success in the upcoming seasons. Valdez Scantling released. First up, the Chiefs have decided to part ways with wide receiver Marquez Valdez Scantling after two seasons. Financial considerations played a significant role, with Kansas City saving $12 million on the salary cap. Despite a dip in production in 2023, Valdez Scantling played crucial roles in key postseason moments. Sneed franchise tag. Next on the Chiefs' agenda, they've placed the franchise tag on star defensive back Algeria Sneed. This move secures the rights to Sneed for the 2024 season, but his future with the team remains uncertain. Rumors are circulating about a potential trade, adding an extra layer of intrigue to this offseason. Chiefs Aholic legal troubles. In an unexpected turn of events, Chiefs superfan Chiefs Aholic is facing serious legal consequences. Zavire Babudar, known for his canine clad presence in the Chiefs Twitter community, pleaded guilty to bank robberies and is set to spend up to 50 years in prison. This shocking revelation has left the Chiefs community in disbelief. It's been a roller coaster ride for the Kansas City Chiefs this offseason. What are your thoughts on these moves and the surprising legal situation? Drop your comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope you like our hard work. Please like and subscribe to our channel to support us so that we can keep updating you with the daily news and stories. Please share our videos and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. So leave a comment below and tell us how you rate this video.